Uh, hi, Michaela. I've, you wanted me to read you or get you another book to read, and I found this one of my daughter's. It's about glowfish, and I thought you might like it. Here's the title of it. It says, Gloria Glowfish and the Great Dragon. And we're going to turn the lights off here, because we have this special flashlight that's about, that we can use to read the book, and hopefully it'll work. Let me just go turn the lights off. Oh, it's dark. And I don't know if you can see this or not. We'll see how it goes. And it says, it, in, it was another playful evening in Caroline's aquarium. Gloria Glowfish and her friends, Tito Tetra, Sid Cichlid, and Carney Goldfish were all playing tag, but it was getting late. And there's your glowfish. Kind of reading by a black light. Turn the next page. Ooh, it's like magic. I'm tired. Good night, everybody. Good night, Caroline. This one's kind of that one's kind of weird. You can't really see it. I miss her already, say the fish. Caroline turned off her bedroom light and went to sleep. Whoa, Gloria, you're suddenly so bright. Not just bright, brilliant. Said, what does my brighter color mean? I don't know. I think we're going to have to ask the great dragon. The great dragon? Yes, the great dragon. A wise old creature. Legends say that he can only be found if we follow the secret symbols that are only visible at midnight. We can start at a ship nearby. Oh, there's the ship. And so Gloria and her friends set off to look for the great dragon. But when they found the ship, they couldn't find a symbol. Oh no, where is it? Sorry, I gotta turn the light off every time I flip the page. Do you see a symbol? I don't know. Do you see a great dragon symbol? I don't see one there. Looks like we need to go to the skull. That's right over there. Well, let's go look at the skull again. Ooh. See. And next, Gloria and her friends went to the spooky skull. Don't worry, bud. It's not real. But it's scary. Yeah, we'll protect you. Can you can you find the symbol too? I don't know, I see a treasure chest. It kind of glows in the dark, doesn't it? Next page. A treasure chest that's right around the corner. There's the treasure chest. Gloria and her friends soon found the treasure chest. Look at this gold! Almost as gold as me. We're going to be rich. Silly Tito, we don't use money. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hmm, can you help us again? Ooh, a castle. Is that where the dragon lives? Only one way to find out. Follow me and make it fast. Oops. Gloria. Let's see. Gloria. Hang on. Gloria raced to the castle with her friends and close with her friends close behind her. The castle was dark inside. No dragon. We'll have to find another symbol. No dragon. 
And you know what to do? Let's find that symbol. And right there, I think, is a dragon. There's the dragon. We can see it very well. A dragon symbol. Does that mean that he's close? Yes, I see him right over here. Hurry! Glory and her friends swarm over to the great dragon. And the great dragon was still and quiet. Hello, Mr. Great Dragon, sir. Can you tell me why I'm so bright? Pretty please? I don't want to wake up Caroline. The great dragon opened up his mouth, full of sharp teeth. And he smiled. My dear Gloria, you've been brilliant all along. It's just a new light. Gloria and her friends looked up, and sure enough, Caroline had added a new light that very day. And just then, Caroline woke up. Oh no, we woke up Caroline. That's okay. Look. Caroline ran over in excitement. Gloria is so bright with that new light. Yay! Caroline loves my new light, my new brightness. Yay! Yay! Yay and yay! And I guess they all lived happily ever after. Hope you enjoyed the story.